Okay, here we go. I'm Coyote Peterson. I'm about to be bitten by the toe biter on my big toe. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! Stop! Ah! You're back in the container! Ah! Ah! Guys, we are headed back to our jungle base camp. My toe is still throbbing right now. We're gonna try to film an aftermath episode, show you guys how to clean up the bite from a toe biter. I did put my boot back on my foot. I can't walk through all this jungle mud and grime and risk getting a bunch of dirt wedged into it, but ugh, just having to walk on my heel right now with every step, it's just like a shooting pain right into my big toe. Toe is absolutely throbbing right now. Uh, what I want to do is just get it in some hot water as soon as I possibly can. Mark and Mario went on up ahead. I said, yeah, I'll be fine. Just wanted to get a couple of takes from out here in the field. Um, sweating and just uncomfortable. Feels like somebody slammed my big toe with a hammer. All right, let's keep moving. That is a slow hike back out of the rainforest to get to our jungle camp. Whoa, the toe biter it is pretty much as bad as I remembered it to be. I granted before I was bitten on the thigh and not on the toe, but like I said, the toe just seemed sort of poetic in this instance. You may be wondering, do I regret it now? Uh, a little bit, <laughs> maybe because of how much pain I'm in, but honestly, hopefully we all learned something incredibly valuable from this little experiment. If you see a toe biter, don't try to pick it up. Don't try to step on it if you're barefoot. And uh, do your best to just admire it from a safe distance. All right, I will check in with you guys as soon as we get back to base camp. Here we go. All right guys, I'm almost back to base camp. I sent Mario ahead and he is Boiling some water right now. Actually, boiling water is likely going to help my toe in this scenario. And, uh, okay, chair. thanks. Oh yeah, chair. All right, Mark's got a chair for me. We're gonna do a little first aid. Ah, my toe is still throbbing. A little first aid on my toe biter bite, which is on my big left toe. Ah, all right, I gotta get my boot off. Hold on a second. right there. See that? That was a blood spot right there. Now what I want to do is I got a first aid kit here in my pack and I always have a trauma kit with me everywhere that I go. There we go. Field trauma. Open this up. It is brand new. I have a brand new one on every location that we go to. This does have quick clot which I am not going to be using but I want Septic wipes and a little bit of antibiotic ointment. All right, this is probably gonna hurt a little bit. You got a decent shot? Mm -hmm. Ah, just a little sting. Gotta work that in there. Nothing else coming out of there. That's good. I'm sure the pressure actually inside of my boot probably helped with any further blood loss. And it wasn't a lot of blood, but 
And you can definitely see that the uh, gauge of the toe biter's rostrum pierced skin and put a pretty nice little puncture in the tip of my toe. I'm sure it did not help that my feet were already moist because the inside of my boots are soaked from last night's adventure when we actually caught the toe biter. I don't know if you guys remember when I jumped and fell off the edge of the pond, my boot was absolutely soaked. Ah, okay, that is that's probably about as good and clean as we're gonna need it. So this is just prevent infection, correct? That is correct. And this isn't really doing much for your pain? No, this is doing nothing for the pain. And the, honestly, the pain is not horrible at this point. It kind of just feels like somebody whapped my toe with a hammer. It's uh, like a dull, numb, throbbing pain at this point. Okay, Mario, let's bring that water in here. Okay. Get it nice and hot, Mario. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's like right on the verge of being too hot. Now this should actually be really great for my toe. Here we go, ready? Mm -hmm. Ah, ooh, that's real hot. Let's do it, one, two, three, go. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Too hot for me to fully put my toes in at this point. I gotta let it cool off a little bit. Okay, all right, here we go, ready? Ah. Ooh. ooh, that's hot. But it does feel good on my toe. What I actually want to do too is just massage that warm water into the bite zone. Ah. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Wow, that's still really hot. Man. So, talk to me. Why, why does uh, this kind of treatment work with something like a toe biter? Well, I also use this tactic with the lionfish venom, and the warm water is helping to break apart the enzymes, the peptides, and the proteins in the saliva from the toe biter. It's actually, I can't tell if it's the hot water that's taking away some of the pain or it's the pain from the hot water that's actually replacing the pain from the toe biter bite. I just gotta let that soak for a little bit. All right, let's cut the cameras and let's come back here in about 10 minutes and see where my toe is at. Whoa, oh man, look, my toes kind of turned white from being in the water that whole time. Look at that. Can you see that? Zoom in on that. Yeah, you can see where it poked through your skin there. Right there, yeah. Well, it definitely still hurts, right? It's not as bad as it was though. The hot water actually is a great distraction from the actual pain that's being induced by the saliva of the toe biter. Now, I do want to Gently dry this off here. Like that. Okay. And the last thing I'm gonna do is apply some triple antibiotic ointment. This will help fight any potential infection that may set in. Basically Neosporin. Yeah, Neosporin that came right out of my field trauma kit. I do have Neosporin, but we thought we'd use something different this time. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. You ready? Lob it on there. Oh, wow, it's thick. And I'm gonna kind of ah, work that into the wound and around on my toe. And this is great. The sunshine has actually come out, which is gonna help dry out my toe. Now, I do wanna keep it uncovered and keep an eye on it to make sure that an infection does not set in. Well, I think it's safe to say that thus far I have faced the first of my two greatest fears being bitten by the toe biter. And it was bad, just as bad as I remembered when I was eight years old. However, the bite coming up, which is gonna come from the giant desert centipede, I fear may be the worst bite you can possibly get from any creepy crawly you find throughout the world. Stay tuned, guys, because that episode is coming up soon. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. If somehow you missed the giant water bug bite episode, make sure to go back and watch as I let this nightmare of an insect give me a bite I will never forget. And in of all places, on my big toe. Youch! And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.